Here are five reasons why I think the new DJI Pocket 3 is the best travel camera. Now, I just got back from a month in Guatemala and took this camera with me everywhere. So here are my thoughts. First of all, when you're traveling in a beautiful new place somewhere in the world, one of the first things that you wanna do is pull out your camera and simply walk around and try to capture what the place looks like and feels like, right? Because a POV walk around the streets just has a very real and organic feel to it. And it really captures what it's like to actually be there. But there have been so many times that I've tried to do this only later to find out that the footage is super shaky and almost makes you feel sick just to watch it. My iPhone 14 Pro has really good stabilization built into it, but it crops into your image when you use that stabilization feature. And it often doesn't work when you're not in bright sunlight. My Canon M50 has stabilization built into the lens, but it's mostly used to stabilize normal handheld shots from one spot, not really for walking around. Typically, you'd wanna buy a separate separate gimbal for that. The DJI Pocket 3 solves this problem because it's both a camera and a gimbal at the same time. The gimbal does a pretty dang good job at keeping your footage steady, even when you're walking down cobblestone streets or up some winding hiking trails. But it doesn't lose that wide angle view that makes you feel like you're actually there when you watch it. And since having a gimbal means the camera doesn't need to do a bunch of internal processing in order to stabilize the footage, you can record in darker places or times of day and still get smooth footage. Now, whether you're a solo traveler or you're traveling with family and friends that aren't constantly shooting video for you, you probably often find yourself as the person holding the camera rather than the person in front of it. But the DJI Pocket 3 makes it pretty easy to film yourself. First of all, you can easily just flip the camera to point towards you by clicking the joystick three times. Super simple. On my iPhone, I can switch to the front-facing selfie camera, but the quality of that camera lens is worse than the one that's facing the back of the phone. If I try to use that rear-facing camera instead, now I can't see where I'm aiming. But not only that, the DJI Pocket 3 has something called active tracking. Combined with the built-in gimbal, this means that I can talk to the camera or walk around a bit, and the camera lens will actually follow me. It almost looks like someone else is holding the camera for you. And then if you buy the camera with this package that DJI offers called the Creator Combo, which so far seems to be totally worth it by the way, you even get a lapel microphone, and a mini tripod, both of which I'm using right now, which makes it even easier to record high quality travel videos when you don't have someone around to record for you. Next is something that I think is a little bit less obvious, but in my opinion is a huge plus of the DJI Pocket 3. Now to illustrate this, think about the cameras that you're likely going to bring with you when you travel. First of course is your phone. I love my iPhone because it fits in my pocket, and I always have it with me, which is great. But you know, sometimes you're wandering around a place where you don't want to be showing off the fact that you basically have a thousand dollar Apple computer in your hands. Many people in the world are familiar with iPhones particularly, and they can be a huge target for pickpockets. On the other hand, not many people are really sure what this thing is, and it's not as expensive as a top tier iPhone. Plus, if you drop your phone while shooting videos or taking pictures, not only have you lost a camera, but you've lost the one device that you're probably relying on for navigation, communication, reservations, and all kinds of stuff. And if you're thinking about traveling with a full-on interchangeable lens camera, not only do you have something that sticks out like a sore thumb, but of course you have a lot more to carry with you. Particularly when I'm backpacking, I need to save as much space and weight as possible. The DJI Pocket 3 is tiny in comparison, and if you get it with the Creator Combo, you get this carrying case which holds not only the camera, but the tripod, an extendable grip, an extendable battery, lens filters, and cables. And by the way, if you've made it this far and are enjoying this video, please hit the like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Next, I wanna point out that the DJI Pocket 3 has some really cool features packed into it. For example, you can walk around the city and easily shoot these really cool hyperlapses. Many high-end phones and action cameras can also do this, but the ergonomics or the way that you actually hold the DJI Pocket 3 makes it extra smooth and easy to do. If you wanna get an amazing time-lapse of a sunset over the city, you can do that too. And because the camera sits on a gimbal, you can do something really cool, which is a panning time-lapse. And as far as image quality goes, not only does this camera shoot in full 4K 60 frames per second high definition video, 
without cropping into the image, but because it also has a one inch sensor, its ability to shoot in low light or indoors is a bit better and brighter than my iPhone 14 Pro. So overall, I was loving my DJI Pocket 3 as a travel camera for my recent trip in Guatemala. I definitely recommend it for its portability, image quality, that amazing stabilization, and the convenience of receiving all of those great accessories when you get the creator combo. Let me know your thoughts. And if you're thinking of getting one for yourself, I'd really appreciate it if you use the affiliate link down below in the description to this video. It costs nothing extra for you, but it goes a long way in supporting this channel. And lastly, subscribe if you want to see more videos from my recent trip to Guatemala.